Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today we have some very exciting news and updates for The Division 2's next big content drop, which is going to be TU-17 in Season 11. Alright, we've got information on revamps that were promised to us that are indeed coming. We have some stuff that they were planned to do years ago in this game, and it looks like it's finally making its way to the live servers. And we have some timing and release info about the TU-17 PTS, so very exciting, and especially if you're a PvP player in this game like myself, there's going to be some hype drummed up today, guys. This is all really exciting, so without further ado... Let's get into it. All right, so thanks to the trusty known issues board for The Division 2, which has been a thing they've been doing for a few months now, and I'll leave a link to it in the description if you uh, weren't aware of this, but this is a board that they post some current issues for The Division 2, some things they're planning in the future, all of that. And it got updated this morning with a lot of new uh, things that we can look forward to in TU-17 slash Season 11, same update, that uh, specifically pertain to PvP, which was something that they had said they were planning on doing, some big PvP changes in Season 11. Once it got delayed, once the Descent mode got delayed, we weren't sure if those things were still going to come alongside the update, but this confirms today that they are, and it's really exciting. So big shout out to uh, Russo. I hope I'm saying your name right. If not, please do correct me on Twitter for tagging me in this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have seen it as soon as I did. So thank you very much. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. All right. So first up, we have a lot of things in the investigating category that we want to look at here. The first one is that lower skill to your players can no longer use jammer against higher skills to your players. And the description says jammer level should be the same or higher plan for TU-17, which again, is the next big update that's coming uh, soon. And we'll get to that release timing information shortly. This, I think, is very, very exciting. This is something that uh, Bruce, who used to be the kind of the PvP coordinator on the game, had planned way back in, like, TU-10, TU-11, way back in year two of the game before him and a lot of other uh, people on that team were moved over to the Star Wars project. And back then, I was excited to see this come into the game, primarily for the usages of, like, healer builds. It was always very annoying to have your hive when you're a tier six and just have someone pop a tier zero jammer and it completely destroys it. That was always a very annoying interaction. And so to see this finally making its way into the game, I think is very exciting. And I think it's going to create a lot more uh, sensible and just fun PvP interactions within the DZ and conflict. Now, it does potentially create some some uh, imbalances, we'll say, with how strong the likes of status effect skills are and things like that. I hope there are some uh, wider balancing things planned for TU-17 so that this change doesn't just completely buff up those skills that are already pretty strong, but we'll see what they have planned. This is not the full scope of the stuff for, for Season 11, but this change on its own, I'm really excited for. All right, next up, this one is going to be beloved by a lot of people, I think. They're doing a conflict rewards revamp. Let's read what it says. To make conflict a viable XP farming option, we want to increase conflict rewards and add a kill XP for eliminating another player to not slow down conflict players on their SHD watch and season pass progression. That alone is something that I know so many people have wanted to see, because why should we be punished just for playing PvP and punished in the sense of not progressing in your other aspects of the game? This is going to be a huge win for a lot of PvP players just so that they can play their preferred content and still level up in the, the relevant things in the game. I think that's just going to be a great addition. But it also says below that, additionally, we are considering adding exotic components in caches and targeted loot. If they go through with all this, that is going to incentivize a lot of PvP players to really dive into the Division 2 PvP with a purpose and a reason that they haven't had to in a very long time. So I really hope it does. And I really hope they do consider the exotic components and the targeted loot because I guarantee that will bring a lot more people back to the Division 2's PvP, especially if it's alongside these other uh, general fixes and changes to make the experience better. So I'm very excited to see how this one plays out. I hope this kind of translates to the DZ as well when you kill players in there, but I suppose we'll see uh, what they have planned for it. But that is going to be really, really awesome. This one is going to be very controversial. I will say that right now. It says, exotics that are otherwise exclusive to a specific content and source are available as random contaminated drops in the DZ. Now, obviously, it says planned for TU-17 right here, but there's no real description to give uh, additional context or information. Does this mean that you can get an Eagle Bear, a Ravenous, a Regulus from the DZ, the raid exclusives? I don't know. That's what it implies from the title. Maybe those ones are excluded and they're talking about other ones like the the Bighorn, you know, some stuff like that. I don't know what their full plans are, again, because it doesn't elaborate here, but on its own, that is going to be a very, very interesting change. On the one hand, for myself, for people who already enjoy the DZ experience or who can respect kind of its setup, I think this is going to be a great change to allow us to get additional rewards in there, give more purpose behind the DZ. Again, high risk, high reward is what the DZ is supposed to be, and it hasn't really been that for a long time. So whether it be for the purposes of expertise or for just getting stuff that you don't have already from those other specific sources, being able to get some new exotics in the DZ would be an awesome addition. On the other hand, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of people, uh, probably in this video's comments, 
comments and just all over if this change goes live that are going to be very upset by this because, of course, a lot of people don't like the DZ, which, you know, I, I don't relate with, but I can certainly uh, I can certainly acknowledge that there's a large crowd who thinks that way, and I guarantee that those people will not be happy with this change. So, look, certainly not trying to call anybody out, not trying to say that my, you know, opinion is right over yours or whatever, but if you are somebody who reads this and that kind of makes you upset about what they might be changing for the DZ and those new drop sources, uh, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear kind of your perspective on it down below. But that one is certainly going to be very interesting. But it doesn't stop there. We've still got more to go. On this one, they're finally fixing corner peeking, at least like the most uh, egregious kind of form of it with the shield. You can see right here, agents can aim from cover without being exposed to enemy fire with the striker ballistic shield active while using a scope. That's something people have been asking for, you know, to get fixed for years. There's not too much to say about this one other than I'm extremely pleased that they're finally taking a look at this, finally going to address it, and it's just awesome that we're seeing this Season 11 TU-17 update tackling both uh, structural changes that are going to hopefully improve the incentive and reward of PvP, the DZ and conflict in the game, but also uh, fundamental and gameplay changes that should improve the experience. So yeah, really happy to see this one coming, and I know a lot of my PvP players and friends are going to be very excited by that one. And then this is uh, a bit more minor, but it says they've moved blocked list below the clan members. I don't entirely know the full relevance of this. Uh, I, I Can you even block people in the game itself, or is that only on PC? I'm not entirely sure. Either way, whatever this does mean, it says plan for CU-17, and that list should now be visible below your clan members, so... Great. We have one more thing, though, one bit of icing on the cake, and that is in the fixed ready category over here, you can see that they've added a note to the shrapnel trap saying, and you can see it under that uh, update right there, 1612, the rework of the shrapnel trap is planned for TU-17 and will become available for the TU-17 PTS in January 2023. Bada bing, bada boom. We're finally getting the shrapnel trap. It's intended nerf and fix that was supposed to be in TU 16.1 that then didn't work and just got pushed back and pushed back. It should now finally be coming in TU 17, which is awesome. And it confirms right there that we are getting the TU 17 PTS in January of 2023 next month, which is super exciting. And I think that backs up the fact that we should be looking at a pretty early February release date for this update, which is, of course, now going to bring uh, all these PvP changes and reworks plus the story content for season 11. And that is all all very exciting. And so everybody, that is your first look at some of the big revamps and specifically PvP changes that the devs have planned for Season 11 and TU-17 of The Division 2. Again, as a PvP person myself, as somebody who loves the DZ and conflict in this game, well, conflict is uh, a little iffy, but still love the PvP experience in The Division and these changes all make me super happy and I really can't wait for this update to go live now. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts about these uh, new additions to the known issues board. What do you think about the various uh, things listed here? The lower skill tiers uh, with the jammer, the conflict rewards, the new exotics that are going to be dropping in the DZ. Tons of stuff to talk about and I will be very curious to hear all of your thoughts about that. Additionally, what other balance changes you're hoping to see in the, the update? I, I assume some of that stuff is going to be saved for the patch notes because that's where they usually detail a lot of those changes. So I don't think this is the full list to PvP things coming in the update, but even so, all of this stuff looks great to me, and I would love to hear your thoughts about it down below. That is going to do it for me today, though. Everybody, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and until the next one, guys, real gold. Ow.